Hello, friends, and welcome to The Architecture Enthusiast. House number 19 by Bruno Taut at the 1927 Weissenhof Siedlung Housing Exhibition in Stuttgart, also known as the Weissenhof Estate. It was an international showcase of what later became known as the international style of architecture. The estate included 21 buildings comprising 60 dwellings designed by 17 European architects. The 21 buildings vary slightly in form, consisting of terraced and detached houses and apartment buildings, and display a strong consistency of design. What they have in common are their simplified facades, flat roofs used as terraces, window bands, open plan interiors, and the high level of prefabrication which permitted their erection in just five months. All but two of the entries were white. Bruno Tau had his entry, the smallest, painted in various colors. Bruno Tau was chosen to design one of the houses in the Weisenhof district in Stuttgart. He was assigned a two-story, four-bedroom, single-family house. All the main rooms were located on the ground floor, the living room facing east, and the bedrooms facing south. The architect had thought of his residence as a proletarian home among single-family houses. In fact, it had been designed for economically disadvantaged families. During the Second World War, the Taut House was destroyed, and today another building resides on its grounds. On the lower ground floor, heating, laundry room, coal pit, cellar. On the ground floor, ante room, large, divisible living room, dining room with built-in wardrobes in the scullery, kitchen with built-in furniture, two bedrooms, bathroom. On the upper floor, ante room, two small bedrooms, large roof terrace. The difference between Tout and his modernist contemporaries was never more obvious. In contrast to the pure white entries from Ludwig Mies van der Rohe and Walter Gropius, Tout's house was painted in primary colors, Le Corbusier is reported to have exclaimed, My God, Tout is colorblind. In the midst of the resulting examples of flat-roofed, white, concrete-framed buildings, it was Bruno Tout's number 19 that stood out. Each surface of Tout's house, including the internal walls and ceiling, were painted in a different primary color, which caused disturbance among the other architects. It shocked and annoyed the white purist architects of the international style. The house was intended to be mass-produced. It also took account of the environment, was functional and flexible. However, it also had a vibrant red external wall, another in deep blue, another in bright yellow, and another in green. The floors were pitch dark, absorbs heat, the ceiling's yellow, reflects light, and the internal walls also of red, green, and blue. Of the original 21 buildings, 11 survive. Bombing damage during World War II is responsible for the complete loss of the homes by Gropius, Hilberzheimer, Bruno Taut, Hans Pulzig, Max Taut, and Richard Ducker. Despite its architectural breakthroughs, the Weissenhof estate faced harsh criticism upon its unveiling. Many traditionalists rejected the flat roofs and minimalist designs, calling the buildings soulless and likening them to industrial factories. But for the modernists, this was a bold statement about the future of housing. Affordable, efficient, and designed for a rapidly urbanizing world. Today, the Weissenhof Estate is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, preserved as a testament to the birth of modernist architecture. House number 19 and the other buildings stand as symbols of innovation, influencing generations of architects. Their ideas continue to shape the way we think about housing, urban living, and design 